So, um, Amanda has just come in here with Milo and her young son. What's your name? Good. Jerd? Drew. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hi, Drew. Drew's uh, here in support role, and that's terrific. And we've got Milo the Mancoon cat. Now, Milo is 12 months of age. We've just weighed him. He weighs 5.93 kilos. He's a de-sex pussycat. He's a nice pussycat, and he's quite, quite friendly. But what we notice straight away is he's got a dull coat, right? Instead of being lustrous and long and shiny, it, it, it's moth-eaten, isn't it? And Amanda, you thought it was him going out into the bush and just dragging through the undergrowth yeah. and making it a bit sort of moth-eaten like that. I think we're going to turn that round. I, I do. And I think if you come back here in six months' time, I think he's going to be glowing with health and a glossy, lustrous coat um, is, is what we would expect to get quite different. The reason being, of course, previously you've been feeding him on? Um, kangaroo mint. Yes. And kibble. Yeah, what sort of kibble? Uh, Supercoat. Supercoat kibble, designed so-called for cats. Yeah. Yeah, well, look, in the wild, be a pretty big cat that would pull down a kangaroo, and of course he wouldn't just eat the mints. Mm -hmm. He'd be eating all the bones and sinews, the guts and, uh, and so on. And gaining the medicinal benefit of ripping and tearing, if he was a big cat. Yeah. But he's not, that. he's a sizable cat, but he's not a big cat, right? Mm -hmm. He weighs 5.93 kilos. His normal prey should be rabbits, um, bandicoots, possums, and, and that sort of thing. Um, small birds, of course, frogs, lizards. Yeah. And if he were lucky enough to find a, a few fish in a dried up pool, he'd scoop one of those out and eat one of those too. Yeah. And the benefit, the medicinal benefit, comes from the ripping and the tearing and the chewing, cleaning the teeth, stimulating the brain chemicals. The brain chemicals then stimulate the immune system. And whilst all that's going on, the stomach's getting an advice that something's on the way down. So it's starting to contract and produce digestive enzymes and get ready for that. So everything then starts to work in harmony mm -hmm. in nature. But as soon as we mess with the food, mince it up or whatever, then we start to miss yeah. and the more we miss by mincing it up and then heat treating it and compressing it into kibbles well it doesn't anywhere feature does it yeah. where this is harmony carnival working to eat its proper prey of rabbits and bandicoots and small animals and, and such like the miss is, is total this is complete bad stuff it's effectively poisoning a pussycat what do i mean yeah. by poison well, something that brings about ill health or premature death. Mm -hmm. That's the definition of a poison. That's what happens if you're not giving the appropriate food and medicine on a daily basis. But my greater concern is that on a daily basis, he should be getting the benefit of the raw meaty bones. Okay. If you could, you'd feed complete with fur, feathers and fins. Mm -hmm. But I'm not thinking that you can. But uh, how are we going to deal with this from here? Now the truth is, he's 12 months of age and now addicted to inappropriate food. Mm -hmm. And and so we've got several problems. One is we've got to change his addiction, and um, which requires you to think it all through. We're going to give you some information on how to do that. Okay. Um, get him come running, just like Pavlov's dogs, you know, ring the bell and they salivate to order. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll effectively ring the bell at six o'clock every night. We'll keep him a bit hungry. And then he'll come running. You'll give him his standard fare that he's used to, but at half ration. Mm -hmm. And add the new food alongside it. And before you know it, you'll wean him off onto the more natural food. He'll be ripping and tearing like you saw George ripping and tearing in there a moment ago. Okay. And we might just go back in there and, and feed George a couple more quail if he'll show us what needs to be done. Okay. And we'll compare his uh, Milo's coat. And this is the outward manifestation of inner, in this case, poor health. So his immune system, his liver, his kidneys, his heart, nothing's working properly. As a consequence, his skin is not fully healthy. As a consequence, the hair follicles that grow the hair, they're not fully healthy and therefore you've got dull hairs that grow out. 
when everything is healthy, then you'll have a, an outward um, manifestation and you'll see that. And we'll see that with George. George is a 12 year old cat with raging diabetes, completely controlled by being fed on uh, raw meaty bones. And the difference between that 12 year old cat and this 12 month old cat is really quite staggering. Hello, looking out from his, his um, bag, and, and here's George trying to get at his quail. George, of course, is the 12 year old pussycat. He's got the diabetes. He's already eaten several quail bodies already this evening, but he says, Let me at it. And now he's, he's a bit fed up with me, sort of messing him about. But there you go, what's he going to do? He's going to get stuck in there. Now let's just bring Milo alongside him. And, and you may be able to detect the, the difference in the quality of the, the coat. But, but there, now I think there's, there's a pretty, pretty clear example, isn't there? 12 month old kitten, 12 year old adult cat. There we are. And so when Amanda and Drew come back in a month's time, I think we'll have a different pussycat and you won't be able to tell the difference then. It's, it's, it's going to be magic really is. So that's what we want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to it. All right. All right. So um, thank you, Amanda and okay. Drew. <laughs> thank you indeed. <laughs> <laughs> it's real good when we make progress and when people like you get, get the opportunity for us to hold forth and you kind enough to let us um, film the event so yeah. that hopefully lots of other people can get the benefit of this. Thank you very much. Terrific. Well done. <laughs>